This is Eric Gaxetter from geospatialsolutions.com and GPS World Magazine with uh, Neil Van Sands, CEO of Altus Positioning Systems. Neil, great Hi, to see you. Hi, Eric, great to see you again. Thanks hey, what for stopping do you got, by. Sure, what do you got for the show this week? As usual, a bag full of uh, interesting interesting tricks. We, we always, always feature uh, the smart antenna concept. Mm -hmm. our, our principal concept is that we will put high precision positioning into any any platform. Okay. So you're going to Bluetooth to any platform, be it a uh, Windows PC, be it mm -hmm. a Windows Mobiles PC, be it Android, be, okay. it, be it whatever. Or even so a smartphone or even kind of e even a smartphone correctly right. correctly enabled. That that's what we see as mm -hmm. as, as our our role in life. Mm -hmm. But we do bring another range of tools to the to the table also. Um, if I could leave the smart antenna APS-3 just for a second, then we can move over and uh, mm -hmm. look just briefly at the Procyon, the BlackRock Procyon, which we uh, have here for the first time at, okay. the, at the show today. I saw the press release on yeah, it. Yeah, cool. Well, this, this device, which is a very popular device, the Scion's are one of the most popular data capture devices in the world. It's mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of units, mostly in Europe, mm -hmm. lots in the GIS industry. Mm -hmm. The utilities use them with RFID devices, with a variety of different different peripherals. Mm -hmm. But here what we see is uh, a pot, special pod on the back, okay. which allows us to incorporate a, uh, an asterisk, Septentrio Asterix M board. That's the low power board, only half a watt for dual frequency GPS and So it's GONAS. a dual frequency receiver plus Dual GONAS. frequency receiver. In okay. this mode, it's single frequency and okay. it's going to use this antenna okay. and I'm going to be talking about 30 centimeter accuracy. Wow. Okay. Real, real time. Mm -hmm. If I want to upgrade that, I come along, I plug in my dual frequency antenna, slip it onto the pole and now I've got a centimeter accurate device. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm plumb centered over the point that I'm trying to measure, so my face center is over the point. It was automatically switched, okay. and it's still only half a watt power consumption. So wow. you got a long battery life in the device. The mm -hmm. user's gonna be a very happy user, and I can run on there. This one's running into our pad, which you can see is running on there. Beautifully compact, mm -hmm. and, and, and nicely scalable between those two mm -hmm. accuracy points. Alrighty. So that's really the beauty of that, of that particular system. We always like to work with uh, you know, a tablet PC too. This is a, a Windows mobile PC, uh, which you can you see that's the Mesa from Juniper. Yes. The, the coolest tool I think that's here for the first time uh, this year is, is the Ike unit. You've probably seen it before. I don't know whether uh, your, your users have seen it before. Altus is distributing the Ike in, in North America and around, and around the world. And this device has in it a tilt sensor it has a GPS device, so it's going to get you 0.6 of a meter uh, accuracy in terms of CEP, mm -hmm. in terms of positioning accuracy. It's a laser rangefinder built in, so I'm going to measure distance, I'm going to measure angle in terms of vertical angle, and I'm, and I'm also going to know the bearing to an right. object. So I point, I, I take a picture. Mm -hmm. Uh, of, of the distant point, and mm -hmm. I can calculate its its location. So, for shooting utility poles or meters utility. next to houses, or exactly right. trees, right? Uh, houses. If I'm doing a crime scene investigation, I can pick up all the local furniture, street mm -hmm. furniture, mm -hmm. populate my database with that, mm -hmm. as well as record the database. Uh, at the entry points on the, of the actual scene that I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. And if I'm really interested in higher accuracy, I can actually clamp it here, tether it to the APS-3, mm -hmm. and I've now got a centimeter accurate device. Oh, still so with a laser Still embedded, with a laser right? embedded, embedded right. in the system. Right. So I've got a, a, a pretty cool tool here. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that there's a lot of efficiencies that this captures. If you can imagine not being able to access a point, Sure. Um, being able to measure both its height, dimensions, and physically capture the photograph. And we've got calibration on the photographs. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the guys have done a smart job here. It's a, it's a great product, and we're really proud to have it here at the show. Really a, really a fantastic piece. So we're very excited to be here. It's been, uh, it's been a great show great. so far. It's great talking to you about it. Yeah, thanks, Eric. Thanks for Alrighty. coming on board. Signing off from the uh, 2012 ESRI International User Conference.